Hello and welcome to Be The Magician. My name is Brandon and welcome to my channel. So, like I promised, as soon as I hit that 100 subscribers, I will do a giveaway. And we've hit 100 subscribers, so I'm very thankful. So, everybody who has subscribed, thank you ever so much. And I'm going to be doing a giveaway at the end of the video. But... Before that, let's jump into this trick. This trick I'm about to show you is super falling, super easy to do, and you will get great reactions. So let's jump into the video. Okay, so just before I show you the trick, do you ever go, when you go, I don't know, if you're, if you're in America, is it Walmart, or I don't know what the shop's called over at your end, but over in the UK, we have shops like Tesco's and Sainsbury's, and I, when I go, into, don't matter what shop I go in, I always look for a pack of playing cards, and I found these uh, cards, and I haven't even opened them, I'm going to open them while we speak, so I can give them a little review at the same time, but if you guys... Go, uh, go to the shops, do you always look for cards and just go, oh, I'll buy them for a couple of dollars or a couple of pounds and see what they like because I do it all the time. I thought, you know what, I've gone and bought these today and I'm going to try them out uh, for this video. So hopefully these cards are going to be okay and I don't know if you can see them on camera uh, from where you are. But, and I don't like this either, you know when it's in like the cellophane wrapping, I don't like that. But the cars might feel absolutely amazing. I could be just talking rubbish. So let's have a look what they look like. Let's get them out. Let's get rid of everything. Let's see how they spread fit. I'm not even going to spread them in the hand. I'm just going to spread them. It, they're okay. They are okay. But anyway, that was a little quick review. <laughs> um, we'll try with these cards. So... Let me bring the camera closer so you can see exactly how this trick works. Okay, so this is what the trick looks like. And just before I start, you're probably thinking I've swapped the cards. Yes, I have. I did try and do the trick with these cards, but I struggled with them, really. So I just got the Tanneos back because they just feel so much nicer than them cheap plastic coat of cards. So before we begin, we need uh, the two jokers. These two jokers are going to help with the effect, okay? You're going to have the spectator to take the cards and to shuffle them, okay? And it can be any shuffle, it doesn't matter, just a quick overhand shuffle. And when they shuffle the cards, you're going to take them back and take out a prediction card, okay? And I'm going to take one card, this one right here, and this card would go in their pocket, okay? We haven't got a pocket because we haven't got no one here, so the card box is going to represent their pocket, Okay? So now you ask your spectator to think of a number between 1 and 52. They won't tell you, they're going to just think of it. But because I haven't got anyone here, let's say they're thinking of 10, okay? So you would turn your back, the magician will turn their back, and you tell them to deal that amount of cards on the table. So if whatever they're thinking, for example, it's 10, they will deal 10 cards down, okay? So they go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Like I said, we wouldn't know this number. You tell them to take one of the jokers and place it face up on the dealt cards and the remainder goes on top. You ask your second spectator to think of any number between 1 and 52. Let's say they choose 5. Just for example, they're going to think of 5. You tell them to do the exact same thing, to deal, the, deal that amount of cards on the table with the number they're thinking of. So it would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Take the joker and they've stopped dealing to place it on top and the remainder goes on. Okay? So if you think about it, your back is turned and the two spectators are thinking of two different random numbers and the magician wouldn't even know. Okay? So what you do is uh, you will spread the cards and you can, you can show them, look, next to the joker, there's actually one card above it. Same over here. Okay, but you two chose two different random numbers. I don't, I don't know what the numbers are, but hopefully the numbers you chose will work. 
And what I mean by that, if we move all the cards away, they should be a perfect match. The two black aces. I know it's absolutely crazy. We don't know what the numbers are. Do you know what? Let's we can ask him. What was your number? They will say ten. What was your number? They will say five. That's really weird. If we had them two numbers together, that is fifteen. You take the cards, give them to the spectator. They will deal 15 cards. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. That is a third ace. And before we even began, I place one card in your pocket. They will take a look in their pocket and it will be the last ace. So that is the trick. It's very, very easy to do. There's no sleight of hand in there and it's going to fool so many people. It really, really is. So grab your cards, get a quiet room and let's learn this trick. Okay, so this is the explanation of the trick. So what you need to do is remove the four aces out and just make sure you get them in a black, red, black, red order. Or it can be a red, black, red, black. It really doesn't matter which way they are. Just make sure they alternate in different colours. Okay, so let's leave it red, black, red, black. They're going to go on top of the pack. And the jokers. So the production I did, uh, it looked something like this. You don't have to do that. Uh, I will show you how to do it. That's not a problem. So basically, uh, it's two jokers face to face. You've got a break above them both, okay? And all I'm doing is placing my finger in like I'm going to do a double lift, okay? And what's happening is when my finger comes in, I like slide it to the middle, grab both of the cards, and then I'm like brushing the card on. And when I brush it, I'll, I'll basically pull down with my thumb. And what's happening is the card is going to flip like so, okay? So at speed, it just looks like, they just appear, but if you don't want to do that, just place the jokers inside the center and you're ready to begin. So before you start, you say, right, I'm going to take out the two jokers to help me. So you can just spread the cards and take the jokers out. That's probably the easiest way to do it. Then you're going to give the cards to a spectator to shuffle. Nine out of ten times, they're going to do the overhand shuffle. And what's going to happen is, yes, it's going to mix the cards, but in blocks. So if I shuffle these cards like so, the cards are mixed, but in blocks. So now the aces are still together. Okay. So we'll do that again. So let's give them a quick shuffle. The cards are mixed, but the aces stay together. They always stay together. If they did some kind of riffle shuffle, then it won't work. They have to do a quick overhand shuffle, okay? And the aces are together. So when you give the card to the spectator, she'll mix them up, or he will mix them up. So when you finish shuffling, you'll take the cards back and you say, I'm gonna take out a prediction card, and all you're doing is looking for the second ace. And what I mean by that, so you're gonna spread the cards towards yourself, and when you hit the first ace, it's the second ace in, okay? You're gonna place that ace face down on the table, okay? You can either use your left hand, pick the second ace up and drop it, and your left hand is gonna come on top of your right hand. So now at the bottom you've got two aces, and at the top you've got one ace. I'll do that one more time just in case uh, you didn't understand that. So if the aces are on top, they'll mix the cards up, you will spread through, grab the second ace, so this is your first ace, this is your second ace. You can either grab it with your uh, left thumb and place it down. Usually, uh, when I'm spreading, I'm just using my right fingers like so and just dropping the card. Completely up to you which one you want to do. If you prefer to do it with your left thumb, drop that card down and your left hand is just going to come on top of the right hand. So you've got two aces at the bottom and one ace at the top. So you tell them this is your prediction, which is obviously the ace, and that's going to go in their pocket. Now, 
everything's self-working, the hard part is done. So what you're going to do is ask your spectator to think of a number between 1 and 52. It doesn't matter what number they choose. So let's just say, just for example, they choose 7, so we don't have to deal loads. They're going to deal uh, 7 cards. We don't know this. We don't know how many cards hit in the table. We do not know anything because our backs would be turned. So they will deal 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And you instruct them to place the joke when they stop dealing. Place the joker on top of the dealt cards face up and the remainder go on top. That's what they'll do. You ask your second spectator to think of any number. Let's make it easy. Let's just say we say seven again. They will deal seven cards. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You tell them to place the joker on top and the remainder on top as well. So you think about it like this. Your back is turned. You don't know how many uh, cards they've dealt. And the second person, you don't know how many cards they've dealt. So it's like impossible. It's impossible for you to know them numbers. And you truly don't know them numbers till right at the end. So you spread the cards and you uh, basically say, look, you chose a number, you chose a number. The number you chose, it landed right next to this card here, which is an ace. And over here, next to this joker, is an ace. So what you want to do is the card next to the joker, on, well, above the joker, you want to push them out. But make sure none of these cards get mixed up. Okay, and the reason behind that is in position 14 is the third ace. Okay, so same here. Take uh, the joker, the one above, take that out. Make sure none of these cards, what I mean by mixed up as in, so if this happens, so let's say you pulled them out and that happened, and you're going to, I don't know, put these on top or push them together. Just make sure it, they stay in the exact same position. So when you took the jokers out with the card on top, like I said, I'll just go through it again. So before we started, you shuffle the cards. We took a prediction out. You chose a number, you chose a number. Let's see if they match. You turn them over and it's going to be a perfect match. So basically, they think the trick's done. Then you ask them for the numbers. They chose seven and they chose seven. You add them numbers together, so which is obviously 14. When you deal 14 card, the third ace automatically is going to be at that number. So even if she chose five and she chose five, it would be position 10. It's mathematical, so it, it just works. So if you try it, it will work. So uh, let's say the deal it's 14. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 is the third one. And like I said, before we started, there's one prediction in your pocket. And then you've got the four aces. So basically from there, you could go to an ace routine or any kind of ace routine or gambling routine because you've just basically been choose the four aces. So now what I'm going to do is go through it one more time really quickly. I'd like a performance slash explanation like I normally do. So here we go. Your setup is like so. Black, red, black, red. There you go on top. Jokers are in the center. You spread your jokers out and take them out. You give the cards to the spectators to mix the cards up. Then you're going to spread the cards and say you're going to take out a prediction, but really taking the second ace, so mine's the ace of clubs in this example. Take it, left hand goes on top of the right hand. So you've got two aces here, one ace on top. Cards turn face down. You ask them to think of any number, let's say uh, between 1 and 52, and, you, and your back will be turned. And you tell them to deal that amount of uh, cards onto the table face down. Let's say we choose six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And when you finish dealing, please place one of the jokers face up on top of the dealt cards and place the remainder cards on top. Let's say the other uh, spectator chooses number four. They go one, two, three, four. The joker goes on top of the dealt cards and everything goes on top. So now what's going to happen is uh, you're going to spread the cards, like I said, you're going to take the card right next, well, on top of the joker, which is an ace, making sure no cards get mixed up. So take these cards out. And can you see what's happened here? They've, like, split. 
if you get that and they split, oh, don't worry about it. Just place your finger on, on the card where it's split and just push it towards the card. And what's going to happen is it'll go underneath it. It's that easy. Uh, and we go over here. Uh, on the Joker, on top of that Joker is another ace. You just take these two out like so. Get the cards, put them back together. Turn these over to show that they match. Perfect match. You ask the, uh, they think the trick's done. And then you ask them for the numbers. You chose six, you chose four. Add them together, it's ten. Turn the cards over, deal ten cards. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Which is the third ace. Before we start, we place one card in your pocket, which is the last ace. And that is the explanation of this super easy card trick. Okay, so that is the trick. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this trick. It's a very easy self-working card trick. The only thing you have to do is to spread the cards. And if you are struggling spreading the cards, let me know down in the comment section and I can teach you exactly how to spread a pack of cards. But if you could do that, you can do the trick. So, let's get into the giveaway. So like I said, uh, I was going to do a giveaway when I hit 100 subscribers, and I have. So once again, thank you ever so much. So, what am I giving away? So I have, I'll start, I'm gonna do uh, the top three prizes. It's only, it's only three uh, prizes. Uh, so the third, if you come third, this is a trick called Turn by Peter Pelican. It's an awesome little packet trick, and it has a kicker ending where all the backs turn different color and all the face of the card disappears. It's a crazy little uh, card trick. So if you do come third, that is uh, the third prize. The second prize is another fantastic trick. It's called Blind Faith. By Stephen Tucker, it's like the it's like a free card. Well, it is like a free. Well, it is a free card, Monty, but not the original one. So if you have if you've seen the original one, it's not like that. This can fit in your wallet. So if you are if you do carry wallets, I know a lot of people don't, but if you do carry a wallet, this trick can fit straight in your wallet. And don't worry, it's not as big as this. It's just padded and got an envelope in it with cards in there. But if you do carry a wallet, that can go in your wallet them cards and you'd be able to blow people away. It's a fantastic trick. It's about 20 pounds in America, probably $15. So if you come second, that is uh, the trick. And third, uh, sorry, first prize is, in my opinion, really, really good. And this, you might have seen this before. If you haven't, this is the Stack Watch by Peter Turner. So if you are a beginner, if you do win this and you are a beginner, brilliant, you can use it and you can learn it. But I would, if you are an advanced magician and you have been wanting one of these, this is the time to enter and win this. And do you know what? I'll even show you what the watch looks like. It's a very, very nice watch. It's like I'm doing a little review. So this is what the watch looks like. It's beautiful watch. This is the watch. And it's a normal Normal watch is nothing, there's no, there's no, it's not a trickery watch. It basically uh, does a stack, so, okay? So if you, it's the mnemonic of stack. If you're a beginner, I don't expect you to know that, but this watch will be able to tell you where every single card is in the stack. It's a fantastic watch. I don't use it because uh, I already know the mnemonic of stack. So this is gonna go uh, for first prize. So if you want to know how to enter, okay? You're probably thinking, Brandon, yeah, tell us how, how to enter. All you gotta do on this video is just comment. Just comment on this video. And let's just, for example, let's say I get 10 comments. Just for example, I will choose three random numbers out of the 10 comments. So if I choose, for example, two and four and an eight, the second comment, the fourth comment, and the eighth comment, that's who's gonna win it. And I'm not going to just look, read through them. I'm actually going to get, I'll get Siri or get a random number generator to pick these three, three random numbers. So all you got to do is just comment. 
That's all you have to do, and you're in, in for a chance to win. I think it goes to about $50 or £50, which is fantastic. It looks very smart, and you'll be able to know every card in the deck, where they are and what number of positions they are, and the routines, what Peter Turner, Peter Turner goes through is brilliant. You get turn, like I said, by Peter Pelican, that's third place, and Blind Faith uh, by Stephen Tucker. So if you want to win it, comment down below. It could be anything, if you like the trick or what you'd like to win, comment that down below, and it could be yours. But like I usually say, please hit that like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>